you know what we're actually going to show today? We're going to pass. You know, and I just grabbed you and said, "Come on, we're doing a live video." And I said, and you said, "What?" He said, "Okay." Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are we going to show? Well, let's just make sure we don't have five mics on today and don't do a triple echo. All right. Looks like our no, we have one on. Looks like we have one mic, and so it should sound good. If it doesn't sound good, let me know in the comments, please. It would be much appreciated. So we have an exciting new game today. I've been working on Hudson and I have been working on it. Um, and it's called Name That Movie Poster Game. And we're going to do something new for the prizes today. Not sure if you visited TMC.io recently, but you may have noticed on the right side there is a leaderboard. And you'll see people's names that are on there that are members from the TNC family. And those members have points associated to their name. And what those points are essentially are points that are earned for either commenting on a post or um, you know, liking something. Uh, there's various actions that you do on TNC.io. Hi, Chris. Oh, Chris, already. That's, that's too fast. That's too fast. <laughs> Chris gets it already. Into we put the an blue. We put an easy one up there for us to start the game. Like I was explaining, though, um, we have the points on the right side on TMC.io. And those points are not Ooh, just. Oh, somebody in. Oh, there's another Into one. Jason. the blue. So, yeah, so Jason has that. Hey, Jason has that one. Uh, let's see. Chris looks like he nailed it right there. Um, oh, you know, look it. And then ready. Jason also, Mikey. also nailed it. Mike's ready. That's okay. We've got the first one up there. It's going to be real quick. But like I was saying here for a second was what we're going to be giving away today is TMC points. And what TMC points are, you're like, oh, great. Uh -huh. Like I need more points. But what TMC points are going to be available to do is be able to use towards buying stuff in the new TMC marketplace, which will be adding new products every week. We're adding more and more products. I have, as you can see behind me, a ton of products to get up on the TMC marketplace. Um, so we're going to be giving away 250 points to people who get the, um, the the answers. We'll we'll say let's say the first three to answer each poster correctly. Um, Ooh. You know, uh, hey Stephen, how you doing? Mike's ready. Uh, Chris is on there, and of course, so so Jason and Chris uh, guessed the first one there. We just kind of put that up to get the ball rolling. We have a number of posters to show you today, and also we're showing you merchandise that's available in the TMC marketplace right now, which you'll be able to purchase with the points that you win today for the game. So does everyone understand that? Did I make it as complicated as possible? I hope so. Oh, wait, that's a good time to tell me Yeah, Hudson's gonna show. That's right. Hudson's gonna be switching out the prizes while I do the posters in the game. So I'm you'll see, you'll see, you'll see the. Well, they're not necessarily the prizes, but you'll see the the toys being swapped out, the collectibles being swapped out while we play, and um, the points will be available to um, put towards these purchases. Uh, and again, the way we'll do it is. I will ask everyone who I've uh, essentially put on the screen as having the correct answer, like I did initially, like I had Chris on here, and then I also have uh, Jason on here. They they uh, they started off and got us started with guessing into the blue. Jason and Chris, send me a quick message on Facebook here, and I will make sure that your TMC account has the additional points, and we're going to give 250 points for um, each person who gets a correct answer. Oh, did you see what Heather said, Hudson? What? Heather said, Hud, can you read that? Hudson is shocked. Such? Such a good helper. That's right. Good job, man. Mommy's been doing a good job teaching you uh, homeschooling you right now. So. Hey, Dad, could I start showing the um, stuff? Steven, you've also nailed it. Thanks so much. Into the blue. Anyone who I put their name up on here, um, please message me on TMC. Just put uh, into the blue, and I will make sure that your TMC account has 250 points added to it. But actually, hang on a sec. Just realized I need to know your email address that you signed up with your TMC account for. Um, so message me that. That way I can look you up in our members list, and I'll be able to assign those extra points to you. And in the very near future, you'll be able to use those points you win today towards merchandise in the TMC marketplace. Again, Working on a lot of stuff here to get this thing going. Yeah, Hudson's the future CEO of TMC.io. I'm, I'm second in command. <laughs> he's second in, he is second in command. It's true. Um, okay, so we got our first poster up there. 
Yeah, so Hudson wants to change it out. What you see here is our, is our vintage the Mandalorian. Yeah, vintage collection Mandalorian. Um, let me just take this from the screen. I will, I will talk to the. Oh, you want to describe? You yes, want to describe yes, the toy? Okay, yes. so describe. Hudson's going to describe this is the toy. The, um, Mandalorian. Um, I don't really know much about the area. Mandalorian, Willie, because I haven't watched the movie. Right, because your parents won't let you watch Mandalorian. Because it's PG. Mean, it's PG. It's PG. Mean it's parents. PG. Mean. It's PG, okay, people. Okay. Everyone gets it. You're six years old. You're going to have plenty of time Daddy to watch all kinds it. of stuff that have a little bit more violence. So we've held off on the Mandalorian, but he has watched the first uh, you know, episode four, five, and six of Star Wars, and even seven, I believe, right? Seven? What's seven? Did you watch seven? No, no, you haven't watched seven. You watched four, five, and six. What's seven? And one and two, but not three. Oh, seven is the three, Force Awakens, that's right? That's right, because three is very dark. Okay, so people don't want to listen to all this. They want to see um, the next poster. So we're going to go ahead, and again, I'm going to go ahead and put that up here after Hudson swaps out the toy. So that's one of the toys that are available right now, the collectibles that are available right now on the TMC Marketplace. It is the Mandalorian Vintage Collection, fully articulated um, three and three quarter inch action figure. He has his Ambon sniper rifle, and he also has his blaster and a holster, and it's on the vintage cardstock um, that Kenner made famous, and now Hasbro has the rights to. Um, so we have a number of these on TMC Marketplace available right now. But here we go. Um, Hudson just put up here Grief Karga, uh, one of the characters from The Mandalorian, if you're familiar with that. Let me just uh, play around this camera a little bit here. One second. Oh, you went ahead and did that, huh, Hud? Yeah. Did I ask you to? Well, you said I to change the you said you, you to. You said you were going to change the book. Okay, so one I second. Yeah, I know, but I want to. I want to. Uh, I wanted to give a little bit of a, a work up to it. I want to give people a little bit of a chance. All right, so this is not a new movie, but uh, oh, I'm sorry, it is a new movie. I, I I saw the yellow and I automatically thought it was something else. This is uh, a new movie, and it's you know it's it's not one that was in theaters per se. That's all I'm going to say to it. So go ahead. Take a look at this movie poster on the left here. If you can see, um, that is Mark Wahlberg getting ready, uh, doing something very police-like um, in that scene. And um, who do you think, or what do you think the title of this particular movie um, that came out in, let me just double check and make sure I, don't, I get the year right for you guys. Um, this particular movie came out in oh boy sorry i got all my files i'm trying to get the file here so i can figure out where we're at here oh here it is that's oh, 2020 that's what i thought so this is a 2020 now, here we go okay whoa hey whoa you guys are good man i thought these were going to be a little difficult let's see the first person jason that's 250 points for jason well done Chris, and we're also going to give um, Jared and Kathleen, who were the first, the fastest to it. Um, oh, Jason says it was a good flick. Oh, good. I'm going to check it out. That's a, that's a Netflix movie, I believe, is it not? All right. So now, before we get, that's right. Yeah, just recently. So before we get into the before we get into the next one, we're going to Hudson's going to. Oh, no googling. <laughs> just kidding however you gotta do it okay so here we go so hudson what do we got next up here um, on the merchandise turntable and again if i put your name up on the on the screen here please message me uh on facebook messenger here uh to tmc.io and uh, just put the title of the movie and your email address for your tmc account so when i can assign you those 250 okay. points for the correct yes and again, those points will be available. That's when we never even talked about the Java. The, those points will be available later on to um, be able to use towards buying merchandise on TMC Marketplace. We've got lots of cool things like this off-world Jawa character from oh, The Mandalorian. <laughs> That's the same impression of it. Oh, <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, pretty That's good. actually the same sound. I should be. I should be a regular Jawa. You should be a regular Jawa. Maybe because oh, you're yeah. about the right size for a Jawa. So. Maybe you can get a, a part in the in the you know the the season three and uh, you could be another off world Jawa. 
All right, so that's the off war Jawa, and then we're gonna go. You don't want to be a wife of a one because they they are too creepy for me. Right, I don't know if there's much difference between an off world and a regular Jawa. There, a Jawa is a Jawa, right? At the end of the day. Yeah, but that one's better. That one's better. They don't say Utini like they're sighted. They don't say it like. Well, you haven't seen the Mandalorian though, have you? Oh my gosh, dude! You don't know anything about me. I watched the Mandalorian before it even came out. Because Look at your hair. You're a mess. You didn't even fix yourself up. You didn't even fix yourself up for the camera. Nothing. Nothing. Not even wearing your TMC shirt. Well, we're we gonna do it with this kid. All right. What else we got here? Oh, well, everyone's got this one right. So this was a pretty easy one, I guess. I thought maybe this is gonna be hard. Okay, that's okay. Let's see here. All right. Here's another one that we're gonna come up with. Everyone ready? But before we do that, Hudson, we have to put another um, item from the TMC marketplace up here, that so people can see. All the goodies that they can and also because we bought this turntable so i mean i bought this turntable for like 25 bucks on amazon i want to get i want to get my uh, miles out of it right so and the lighting and everything i think the, i made the lighting a little bit better i watched a youtube video on how to um bounce the lighting off so that it wasn't you know coming through fully so hopefully it's a little better i i think i was able to reduce the glare on that plastic on the plastic window of these funko pops um, but you can still see some of the key lights kind of bouncing off here, but I got an overhead ring light on top of it And then I have these key lights on the side I think it did a much better job. I don't know if anyone's watched a previous episode um, And what you think about our new lighting on the turntable here, but anyway, here's another what's this? This is the Mandalorian number three four five so interesting thing about this particular Funko Pop This was the second version I believe of the Mandalorian that came out Another one was one where he was actually holding his rifle in a different way. And what we'll do is we'll do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, you're doing so. I'm trying to put it in okay, the background. No, no, you're good. I just want to get this guy. I wanted to put it. All right, let's see if we can fit him on here. Oh, right, here we go. We can fit them both on here like this, I think. Yes, we can. Okay, so here we go. So here's an interesting. Here's the side-by-side -side Mandalorian Funko Pops. One's 326, one's 345. Very similar, as you can see, one is holding the rifle straight up. The other one is holding the Amber uh, Ambin snipe, sniper rifle in more of a ready position. Um, so it's just kind of interesting. I know that you know as soon as uh, the Mandalorian hit, they were just rushing to get toys out into the marketplace. And 326, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe 326 was the first one that they got out there as fast as possible. But now they have, they've added 345 here amongst many others. Um, but we have a number of the, we actually have, I believe, all of the Mandalorian Pops pretty much covered. There's a couple of, like, big ones that we don't have. Um, but we have we have been able to get from the manufacturer, straight from Funko, the, um, most of these things. And like I said, whenever we ship one of these out, um, we ship them in a, each one of our, our Funko Pops that go out the door, go in its own soft vinyl protector pop, as well as a secure double wall cardboard box on top of that so you're going to get these in absolute perfect mint condition like we get them from the factory no dents no scrapes no scratches no scuffs none of that um, stuff. just like how uh, you would like to get them um, i'm a very uh, big time collector of movie and television stuff mm. and um Oh, so spin, shoot shoot me a message on the TMC Facebook page. Just message me on Messenger there and just be like, hey, I guessed this one and um, your name is up on the screen. I'll be able to go back later on and verify. But uh, to be honest, uh, we're just trying to have some fun today and I'd be happy to uh, make sure that you get your points allotted for this poster. And we're going to get to another one right now. So is everyone ready? Get Everyone get ready here. Um, I and wanted we'll to tell I wanted to tell them something. Okay, go ahead, Hudson. Um, I just want to make sure that you would let me say this. I want to tell them that we're doing our kind of like, um, Well, why don't we hold off on any of that until later, okay? Uh, Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm going to tell them that we're going to do a second channel for a while. In a while. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I say it? Can yes, I, yes, Hudson, yes. you could break the news. Okay, so here's some breaking news from for, uh, for for a while. It's gonna be for a while until the until well, I'm gonna just tie. So we're going to have a new um whole channel thing which is not called TMC. It's something different. We go we usually <laughs> <Thanks, Michelle. laughs> we're going to um we're going to have the Atari hooked up to that screen well, up you there. You skipped right ahead. You skipped right ahead. People don't realize. There are many people out here 
that might be around my age or might be younger or might be older and don't even know that Atari, the gaming system, is coming out with a new console for the first time in decades. And when I was Hudson's age, he's six years old, I had... They're coming back with a new Atari and we're going to get it hooked <laughs> up to that up screen up there and we're going to... And we're going to show it for the screen and have us wait down in the corner corner there. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Wait. <laughs> Everything's opposite in the camera. Ah, I can't. So I can't. So what, what Hudson's trying to tell you is I'm that trying to we were one of the first white, backers. White. Like of, white here is where, white here is where our, where we're going to be. And then here is going to be where we're playing the game on the Atari hooked up to that screen. Okay. So thank you, Hudson. Hudson mm -hmm. is very excited about this. What our plan is... <laughs> it's my dream. It's actually my dream. Don't, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. I'm Commander. not laughing at your dreams. I'm not laughing at your dreams. I know why you're, are you laughing? I know. All right, Chris. Hey, thanks so much. Send me a message. Be sure to get those points over to you. Make sure when you send me a message on... Uh, on TMC, the mess on TMC Facebook page. Make sure you include your um, email address so I can look you up on the TMC.io site, and that's how I can figure out who's who, and I can assign you guys points. All right. Look at somebody came in. Oh, it is. Is it almost draft time? I didn't even realize that's right. I know I was playing some uh, draft game there. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get to our next poster here real quick. All right, here we go. Mm. So this is. Oh, I know what movie this Shh. is. We're going to give points to the first three people that respond to this. First three people, because I know everyone's doing it. I want to be fair, and a lot of people that are, um, you know, doing good guesses, and, you know, other people, I'm not saying you're cheating. I'm just saying people might be, you know, helping out with some answers. So let's just say first three people on this poster. We have lots of posters. First three people are going to get 250 points each. What do we have here? What are we looking at? Anyone know? This is... Um, This is um, a 2020 film. <laughs> oh, Heather guessed. Heather put a guess out there. Way to put a guess out there, Heather. No, but you are close. What you are that? close. She says uh, Meg Mega Mega Galon. <laughs> Mega Dalon. Mega Dalon. It's the name of that shark. I, know. I can't pronounce it properly. Excuse me. But it's close. It has definitely has something to do with the water. Uh, okay, well, then Heather said the Meg. It's not the Meg. Um, I actually sat through the Meg. Uh, oh, Brian also guessed the Meg. And then Mike, he guessed 45 meters. But here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Jared. Jared. Jared got it. Underwater. Underwater is the name of this poster. It's like the it's like that underwater thing where that sub goes down and they track like unknown monsters in the deep deep sea. Yeah. Oh, somebody gets underwater too. Jared, we have two Jared, in. So There's Jared, only one more people. Anthony, up. Jared, be sure to shoot me a message here on TMC um, with your email address that's attached to your TMC.io account. And I am going to be... Underwater, underwater. Yep, oh, then, only one can get it. And all, You're Kath, getting it. Kathleen got the final spot there. Good job, Kathleen. And um, Underwater. She got it too. And Steven's on there. Everyone's on there. Hey, good job, guys. Good good, good job there. We good, have the good, first good. three. We have Kathleen, and we have Anthony, <sighs> and we have Jared. You guys are going to get the points. Send me a message. And then in the meantime, Hudson's going to get some new stuff for our yes, marketplace yes, turn yes, turntable yes, wheel or something we gotta call it we gotta call it something yes, yes, yes. excuse me this is just the stuff okay, we don't need to make noises like that just i want to make just two one. i want no, to do just two one. because one. they're both the, they're both from the mandalorian yeah they're all from the mandalorian i'm just gonna do one for now all right here he is the heavy infantry from the mandalorian this guy yeah it, you're right oh underwater wasn't that horrible wasn't horrible i actually have not seen it um, I, I saw. I usually do on like it. those types of movies. It's you know, it's like a has that sci-fi element to it. And I usually, Dude. usually like sitting through some of those. Um, so maybe I will. I will check that out then. Well, you can't see it. Well, too, too scary for you. Well, well, I already know. I already know. And and, and let's just. And actually, here's an interesting fact. 
I saw Hudson like whispered in my ear and said, that's the underwater movie, which is hilarious because he would never have seen this movie in a million years. And I have no idea how he actually said that it was the underwater movie, unless he just happened to guess that it was an underwater movie and that was the name of the title. But either no, way, I didn't guess it. I actually knew it was that because I knew that I remember that that looked familiar because I knew that that teeth with the human, I know that's underwater. So I saw a preview of that movie and I saw it was really, really scary. And I knew that's just, uh, that has to be Can you show underwater. people what you're doing? You're literally, you're literally, you're literally, you're literally talking. You're talking with your foot, like you know. How some people talk with their hands. He's like talking with his foot. <laughs> and then I saw that movie. One thing, I one thing we've, we, one thing we've noticed in Hudson is that he has an uncanny ability to recognize logos and remember and recall things. When he was a practically a baby, he used to. Uh, point out the window and passing by certain, you know, stuff like the Golden Arches and McDonald's or, um, you know, Walmart and Target bullseye symbols. He was right on to it early on. So it's kind, of, <laughs> it's kind of cool to see. He's got a pretty good little memory here. So I know, I know that underwater. I saw okay, it when so. I was four. Underwater is actually a cool movie. So Hudson, Hudson gets crazy. 250 points too. Yay! But he doesn't have a TMC account yet. Oh, yes, yes, I do. I'm, I'm the second in command. I should have one. You, you make. All me right, one. are we all ready? <laughs> you. Make all right, so let me just talk about the heavy, heavy really infantry. Next one. The heavy infantry. I can't even say that. Heavy infantry. How Mandalorian. Heavy infantry Mandalorian. Yes. This, nice. this Mandalorian is completely stacked with uh, a humongous. Uh, <laughs> let's call it a uh, machine gun style rifle. It's it's quite uh, quite an impressive stance. He's very he's very bulky and thick. Oh look, Steven says, "Good job, Hudson." Steven says, "Good job, Hudson." Thanks. All right, good job. All right, so we're going to switch out the heavy. This is actually one of my one of my favorite uh, from the series. I feel like he's just okay. Hudson's gonna take a quick break. No, I just I just wanted to eat something. Go for it. All right. So uh, let's see who we're going to bring out next. We brought these guys out. I'll also have to wait till Hudson gets back. They're back there. So let's see. Okay. So again, um, yeah, isn't it a cool character, Jared? Yeah, let me throw that back up on there right? just until Hudson gets back so he can give me another one. But I don't know. He And you know what? I, I was talking to Chris. Uh, I think Chris, I don't know if Chris is still there. He might. We usually catch him around dinner time. But um, TMC member Chris, uh, he talks about how he's an out-of-the-box collector. And I'm kind of like, I'm on both sides of the fence. If I order a, a pop from somewhere or I found it in the wild somewhere, and um, it's a damaged box, and maybe I just like it because it's a, a cool-looking character, I will take it out of the box. But I but I tend to, um, I tend to immediately, anything that looks like it's decent and might be something worth money down the road, I put them right into one of these vinyl pops, one of these vinyl soft collector pops. That way, even if I'm just moving around in in the in the studio here, I'm just moving around the place. I call it a studio, but it's really just an extra bedroom in our in our house. Um, anytime I move it around, um, I want to make sure that I don't ding the boxes because you know these cardboard are very um, very flimsy. But anyway, here's here's this is actually a prize from our last sweepstakes. This is a cool. It's a fighting. It's a fighting droid. He's got this like awesome whiplash fighting uh, spring effect. He has a two-pack of uh, fighting droids. We actually gave it out to our last sweepstakes. And um, these are guys that I just kind of keep lying around, and I love having them out of the box. I like looking at them. So, yeah, I'm on both sides of the fence of that. So, okay, let's go to our next poster here. All right. I, I think this might be a bit of an easy one, but I uh, – I thought it was, um, you know, timely. I'm not going to give any hints on this one. All right, no hints on this one because you guys should get this one. I think I think people will get this one, personally. Oh, in the meantime, I'm going to go back to our Atari story. So Atari, after decades of just basically making games here and there, decided to come back and bring a console back. You know, one that would rival the Xbox and PlayStation. Um, and so they went on Indiegogo to you know, 
um, asked people for money to help fund the production of this in 2018. There we go. Jared nailed it again. Jared is very good at this game, everyone. Jared is very – Heather, you too. Excellent. Good work. We've got one more spot. And Kathleen nails the last spot for the win. Good job, Kathleen. Nice. Good work. I thought that was a little bit of an easy one. Jared, Heather, Kathleen, message me, Fantasy Allen, with your email address. You're going to get some points. So uh, back to the Atari story real quick. So um, they, you know, put a put a feeler out there, and they raised, like, I don't know, I can't remember how much. It was a couple of million dollars in record time uh, for people that are just – you know, interested in seeing the Atari come back. So um, we are one of the backers of the Atari console. And we just got an email today, finally, that the Atari is now in mass production. Their first 500 units are starting to come off the assembly line in China. And, of course, there's been a very big struggle. Um, it's not taken, actually, Sandy. No, it's, um, it's Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island is the name of that poster that you see there. But um, so, yeah, so they just went into production. And the first 500 units are going to be for developers, uh, influencers, and, you know, testers and that whatnot. But then they're going to a, a 5,000 run, which will be the time that the backers of the Indiegogo campaign will be receiving their units. So what Hudson was really excited about and what I promised him, since he has such a passion for video games and we have to, like, be so careful because he just loves them. He's only six, so we really limit to how much he can play. But what I a little bit of a coffee cake that mommy said I could have. What is that island anyway? It is an island. You're very right. It is an island. So my oh no, I one know second. that I was one. finishing. I, I was one, one finishing a story. One. So uh, what I told Hudson was that when we get the Atari, we will play some games through our Facebook channel and our Twitch channel. Um, and we'll show people what the new Atari is all about because oh, um, no. it's one of the first consoles that it is the first console that I had when I was roughly Hudson's age. Um, so it's a very nostalgic thing for me. Uh, I'm a big fan and I can hardly wait till the console comes. So that's going to be something fun. And I'm not sure if there's any other Atari fans out there or anyone else knew that that was happening. And who knows how if it's going to make a comeback or if it's going to fizzle. Who knows? But, you know, put a couple of bucks there, and I'm looking forward to getting it. Hopefully in, in some time in the next month or so, I'm hoping, hopeful that it will be here. So, anyway, we have um, our three winners for this movie poster, which is hey, called Daddy. Fantasy Island. Did you know that? Well, it looks like there is a – it looks like that's a – looks like that's a hole. looks like – oh, oh, it looks like a skeleton face. Yeah, it is a skeleton face. Very is it cool. like a giant skeleton under the water? Yeah, it's a it's a it's it's a giant skeleton under the island. So it's made to look like the island's kind of very scary and very scary things happening on this island. And then is nah, it not the fantasy island I remember? Not that the fantasy island. <laughs> not the fantasy island I remember. Okay, we're gonna go to the next poster. Do you want to put? Do you want to hit the next poster? Yes, right, thunk. Go and then go. Okay. Ooh, sorry, sorry, dude, sorry. Dude, I didn't mean to. Dude. Dude, dude, <laughs> go get another toy. Yeah. Go get another collectible, please. Uh, All right, that. we're gonna stay here. Hudson snuck, pe sneak peeked you one of the other posters by double clicking. I don't know how the boy with such little fingers could fat finger that, but anyway, Atari was your first console too, Charles. Cheers. Yeah, I had some uh, awesome. Yeah, it was hey, no, just I wanted one, to put two. No, this son. Time. Why can't we put two? Because, buddy. It'll it, go faster because. Well, we don't need million. to go faster. Well, it's probably. Oh, yeah. And television was. Yes. So I had. So that was like the thing, right? Some people had Atari. Some people had Intellivision. It was kind of like. you def And unless you had some money, <laughs> you definitely didn't have both consoles because these things weren't cheap back in the day. No, they were like $1,000. And so oh, look at this. We have we have all right. So here we go. Stephen nailed the holiday, and Anthony also nailed the holiday. <laughs> nailed and, it. And Mike, you snuck in there for the third spot. Mike, you're in there for third spot. So go ahead, Mike, Anthony, and Stephen. I don't want you to put your hands there because you hit the button last time. I'm not hitting any Steve, buttons. Uh, Stephen, Anthony, and Mike, message me on Facebook 
Facebook page, on our Facebook page, with your movie title <laughs> and your email address on TMC.io. So I know how or who to give the points to on TMC.io. If you don't happen to have an account on TMC, just head over to TMC.io, make an account real quick, give me that email address. I will add those points to your account. Um, so we're talking a little bit about Atari here. Uh, oh, Mike, did your wife make you watch that? Yeah, I, pretty much every Christmas, it's pretty much mandatory in this household. Guess um, what? Can you come sit up, sit up, on, sit up on your chair? There we go. I okay. wanted to tell um, Daddy, you you tell him about when you did, um, when you played Double Dragon. Remember that game, Double Dragon? Jared, you're lucky. <laughs> but you know what? If you ever do have a, you know, a date night and uh, you want to watch a movie, um, you know, you can't go wrong pulling this out. It seems to be quite the quite the favorite. But um, yeah, back to back to Intellivision. So yeah, so Atari, you know, had certain games, but then Intellivision came along, and Intellivision was fascinating because it had this like really crazy controller. Uh, let me describe. How do I describe it? It was like a pad. It was like a pad. So it was, it was like the size of it was like a rectangular pad, corded, of course. It wasn't. Uh, it it wasn't. Um, you know. Um, wireless back then but it also had these like inserts so it had these touch these bubble buttons you remember these touch pads with like little bubbles that you could push them down and they used to do them with like remotes back in the day anyway so the intellivision had these rectangular controllers with those pads and you would insert a plastic sleeve over top of the buttons for the game so if it was football you would have a sleeve that that slid over top and those would be the certain controls for the football right Oh, it's not TNT.io. It's TMC.io. We don't have TNT.io. Well, the movie club, uh, Charles. So go. TMC.io. Uh, he's saying right here it doesn't seem to load. So Charles, it's TMC.io. Oh, and yes, Double Dragon. Um, I used to play that in the arcade. Um, so, yeah, the pads were the pads were horrible, but it was such a different thing, right, from those joysticks. Um, and the paddles from Atari. Atari had the paddles and the joysticks. So, fun fact: the new Atari, they actually have a controller that's very similar to Xbox, but they also have, have a old one with just a pad and then a line coming it with the button. On yes, top. which called the old joystick. The actual old joystick that the original joystick that Atari came out with, they've created a wireless one with a couple extra buttons on the base. Um, but that rubber joystick is back, and I actually um, purchased one of those in addition, thinking oh, that so it's, maybe it's like I would like Xbox to play with that because I remember the skills that I had. And then you know what you develop? You develop a callus right on the inside here on your skin that humans weren't meant to have, I don't think, unless you're, like, shoveling for a living or something. But even then, you would probably wear gloves. But the callus that would form inside this part because you would hold the joystick – and it would just be the movements. It's so hard to so it'd be like this. Actually, this is this is turning into a bad scenario here. But no, look, <laughs> this wait, is this is wait. it's like this. this the joystick comes up like this, and then so you would control it like this. Like you wouldn't do it like this or like this. You would actually cup your thumb and your finger around the joystick, and then you would move it up and down, up and down like this. So you'd create this friction in here, man. <laughs> Dad, Daddy's what the I, expert. What I did, and what a lot of people did back then, is they would take the rubber off of that old Atari joystick just so that it would be plastic. So you'd have this white plastic piece that used to have the rubber on top of it, and it'd be much smoother on your hands. You wouldn't actually need to have the rubber on there. So anyway, that's a um, old, I wanted to, long, old story I that I thought you, I'd bring there. So I wanted to tell them something. Yeah, so Sandy, we were just talking about how... Um, Oh, the Intellivision controller made you mad? Yeah, they, I mean, that was one of the problems with those Intellivision controllers is that those those buttons, those pads would fail, right? You'd have one that would break, or and they were very difficult. But the Intellivision was a leap. It was a leap graphically. It, made, it looked better, played better. Uh, but, you know, Atari remained classic. And, you know, I think that, uh, like you're saying here, like, like Mike just mentioned, Asteroids, you know, Missile Command, um, oh, what's Missile Command? So, so Missile Command is a game that you end up seeing. So here's the cool thing with the Atari. The the new Atari that's coming out also comes with what they call the like Atari. Like an Xbox controller. Right. No, but I was talking about yeah. the games. It comes with the, what they call the Atari Vault, I believe, which is um, 
a catalog of all their old games it's kind of already included and you can just if you have an atari you can automatically hop onto there so you're going to be able to play all the classics you know the asteroid and centipede and um uh, missile command and oh mike let's not get started on the commodore 64 that was my first computer uh commodore in fact i found I found a bin um, that my mom had brought down for me. It was like the last bin that she had in her garage for years. And in that bin, I found a little plastic case of about 10 floppy disks from my Commodore 64 of bootleg games. Because back then, it was very easy to copy games from friend to friend. You used to have these big five, five and a half inch um, floppy disks. And you used to be able to go put them in your disk drive pick copy and pull them out and copy it i mean these things were i mean the amount of memory that is in our phones compared to that commerce 64 because we all know it that, that commerce 64 was 64k it's just crazy to think of but yeah i know it brings you're bringing me back yeah dig dug is a very cool game too all right so we have our hol we have our holiday winners right oh apple II. that's very cool yeah that's very cool apple II was a very cool computer um, you know what, I, uh, I there was an auction, Maricopa County uh, Community College every once in a while does like auctions, they auction off all kinds of old gear and so does ASU. And I happen to go to one. Oh, Atari, I, when no, came out? Yeah, when, when Nintendo, Nintendo came. yeah. Yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo basically, that's what happened, right? Nintendo came out and the Atari, that 2600 Atari, they came with a couple of versions of the Atari. I had the original one that looked like a, a wooden cabinet. And that's one of the cool things that you Google the new Atari, you'll see they've actually added some wood elements into it to make it look, give it that vintage feel. Um, but we were talking about uh, the Apple II computer. So a quick story, I was at an auction, it was an ASU auction, they had all kinds of old gear that they were getting rid of. And um, I ended up um, buying an old Apple monitor, like one of the first Apple, Apple ex monitor? extended monitors. It wasn't like, a, wasn't a computer in the monitor, it was just an external monitor. It looked like a little eight inch tv um and it had apple logo on it i got it in my garage it doesn't okay, it, it so turns on that's barely like um, that's your wife right that's yeah. your name for the wife wow Why well he's they? saying auctions are dangerous wife lackluster me from them blacklisted or blacklist yeah i know there was i'm a, I, I used to be a really big auction fan i mean there was a auction house here um what they called now gosh i can't remember their name now but anyway they used to do um all kinds of amazon returns and amazon overstock stuff and i can't tell you how many how much cool stuff we end up getting from there for pennies on the dollar but yeah you're right um it's tough so but yeah from the, from the asu actually still has the asu stamp on the back it must have been in some room somewhere dusty and dark and uh this apple monitor from the early 80s or from mid 80s or something like that i got it um it's actually pretty cool it's a cool little piece i don't know i bought it for like 10 bucks anyway it was just one of those things so anyway we have here on the merchandise table um ig11 not to be confused with ig88 that you see in um, Star Wars when Darth Vader hires the bounty hunters to go and look for Han Solo So IG 11 is very similar, but that's one of the things that's interesting it, He looks like IG 88 everyone thinks oh, it's the same. It's not the same droid IG 11 is also a bounty hunter a little bit more advanced a little bit more lethal He has a great scene in the Mandalorian very early on if you haven't seen it It is awesome. Oh, yeah, Sandy you have to tell me what the auction is in Mesa what it's called but um, yeah, IG11 is going to be available and is actually available right now on the TMC Marketplace. You can use the points that you win today to make purchases in the future. I'm going to be setting that up very shortly. Uh, but IG11 is here. We're going to go one space back to our next poster that Hudson skipped through here. Let's see. Uh, hey, everyone, we're ready. And the mm. Coleco Vision. I remember Coleco. Yeah, they, uh, auctions can be a real. Do it, do it, do it. Auctions can be a real scary place. You can definitely lose money if you don't know, you know what what's there and what what not. And yeah, it's tough. It's, it can be fun, but it also can be a place where you can kind of get caught up in the moment. And yeah, it's a tough one. But yeah, ColecoVision. I don't remember Telstar. Telstar three sided system. Oh, that's I, that, I have not heard of that one. What I I did actually uh, when I was doing some research recently, I um I do remember a system called Neo Geo, which oh, was oh yeah I know Neo Geo right. You tried to get on it on that little thing, but it didn't let you. Right, Neo Geo was very big back in uh, in Hong Kong, um 
back in the day, or sorry, Japan and Hong Kong. Um, it was huge out there. It, it made a debut in the U.S., but not very well. Um, but today, the a Neo Geo, there's a particular Neo Geo fighting game, believe oh. it or not, that goes for like 10 to 14 grand on eBay. And uh, the graphics of Neo Geo were phenomenal for its day. Neo Geo was the first console to really bring that arcade quality graphics to the home. And it was an amazing like system, mine. very, very right. powerful system. Um, but unfortunately, it just didn't catch ground. Uh, PlayStation, I think, started coming out, and um, it wasn't Xbox yet. But the first PlayStation was out, and um, yeah, it was just it just it couldn't it couldn't gain ground, and it just fizzled out. And that's part of the reason why it's, the games are so valuable because they didn't make a lot of them. So, oh, you're into sports memorabilia too? Well, maybe one of these days I'll bring out all my hockey card collection, Mike. We can talk about that. So what's this? Yeah, he Sandy says. Mesa Auction on Broadway. Good website, of course. Closed Ooh, right now. This. Yeah, Sandy, you have to tell me, send me that auction down, down, later on. I think I might know the one that you're talking about. Are you talking about the ASU auction place that's on there? I'm not sure. Anyway, there's been a bunch in the valley. There's, uh, oh, Bid on Fusion. That was the auction house that used to be not far from us here uh, in Chandler. And um, they used to have a huge warehouse, and they would get tons of overstock stuff. They'd get Home Depot returns. They'd get Walmart returns. But they used to get the Amazon overstock stuff, um, and that was just huge. Yeah, Dreamcast. Um, Dreamcast was the one with the CD, Sega Dreamcast. It was ahead of its time for sure. I remember um, the problem with Dreamcast. My buddy had bought Dreamcast, I remember, and he was all excited. He, you know, He saved up money back then, and we were – probably working, you know, as a dishwasher in a kitchen or some kind of, you know, first jobs. And he'd saved up his money. He was all excited about it because, of course, it was super hyped. Um, and then the Dreamcast just kind of unfortunately fizzled out pretty fast. And um, he uh, – oh, it wasn't that one? Okay. Sorry, I know we're probably seeing a little bit of a delay on the messages here. So I'm probably speaking to something that was already sent out. So forgive me for the lag. Um Oh, Arizona Cardinal memorabilia. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Where we could find those? I do. There is some auction places I do see some memorabilia from time to time. Oh, really? Okay. It does look cool. All right, we're gonna well, go to the next know. poster. Everyone ready for the next one? Can I press it? No, because last time you pushed too, so I'm gonna. Well, do this I am. Here we go. All right. Here's our next poster. Probably ocean. <laughs> okay. So let's go. We'll do, um, again, we'll do the first three people that can nail this, and they'll put their names up on the screen. You're going to score some TMC points. TMC points. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the music for it that I made. So what do we think? Any guesses on this one? Let's see. Uh, if we need some hints, I can give a year. This one is from 2016. This is a 2016 yikes, movie. Yikes. Mike, does yikes mean that you don't know it? Or is that the movie? Are we talking about something else? I think you might talk about the poster. So while we talk about the poster, um, the armor, Lori. We'll talk about the armor. Yes, the armor. The armor from The Mandalorian is the head of the guild. She is responsible for the guidelines and the rules of the Mandalorian. She keeps them all in line. And she also, the coolest job, she's the one that's, that creates the armor. She creates the special armor for the Mandalorians, the weapons and the armor. So the armor is a huge, like hugely important character just... in the Mandalorian. And um, she has a fantastic role in this series. If you haven't seen it yet, here we go. Kathleen, congratulations. You nailed it. Kathleen nailed it. Uh, Charles nailed it. And this Mandalorian looks cool. Heather. Good job. Kathleen, I'm Charles, ready. and Heather. You guys Daddy, nailed it. Is there Good is work. there like a holder for this? Thing, like That's back his there. A Ambin, Ambin sniper rifle. Yeah, but it's like it goes into his back. Does it In have like a holster? holster? Does it have a holster back no, there? No, it doesn't look like he comes with a holster for Aww. it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You're right. I don't think there is. I don't know. We haven't taken this guy out of the package yet, though. Let's put it over there. Well, that could be ours. This could, well, this one could be ours. It could be. 
Yeah, we can have this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you're trying to do. I no, know no, it could be it. Would, it could be ours, and we could show it when it's out of the box for everybody, so they know. All right, so everyone's got that one. That's Charles, uh, Heather, and Kathleen. Uh, sorry, Heather, Charles, and Kathy. Yes, Heather, Charles, and Kathleen. You guys got this Wait, one Kathleen? right. This was a difficult one. It was. Um, it was. That's Casey Affleck. I think is what you're. Uh, looking for there. That's his name. And, good movie. Um, good movie. This, this movie, yeah, this movie was uh, critically acclaimed. Very, very good movie. So uh, the armor is available in the TMC marketplace, and the points that you win today can be used towards future purchases um, once we get that going, which will be in the near short term. But the points are going to go to you regardless. So you just got to give us a little bit of uh, patience on uh, when I build in the functionality, so the points can be used in the shop i'm working on that now uh, but in the meantime i didn't want to hold up um, offering points as bonuses for these games i thought it was fun yes casey affleck that's right um one of his probably one of his best movies i imagine so what do we have here let's see we have the armor here we have another poster coming up let's go ahead can i press it because we have to go too so i'll probably do that i'll figure it out i got it mm. i got it one more time okay there we go. Our next poster is now up. So which one? And I don't do? think we need to do any hints on that. Um, I think we can get this one. I believe. I believe. Well, if 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 they if anybody says I don't know, then we're just gonna have to. Give well, we, we can give them a hint. We can give them a hint, but we don't need to give hints yet because I think that this one should be. Somewhat easy once you recognize the actress. Should just take a little bit of Googling. Just a little bit of Googling. Down. <laughs> I feel pretty. Oh, Heather guessed I feel pretty. Heather, you are close, but that is incorrect. Incorrect. I'm mm, sorry. Mm, mm, incorrect. Not, I feel pretty. Steven also guessed, I feel pretty. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm sorry, incorrect. that was not correct. Wait, he doesn't know what it is. He doesn't know. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Let's see here. We're getting close. Looks like we're getting close. Google. Looks like he we're getting Google close. It. He has to Google it. When? Can Google. We're getting close. Everyone's so close. Hang on, I can't see. Can you sit up here? There we go. Heather, you guys are typing so fast. That I can tell you, you see some typos here. You guys are typing so fast trying to get it on there. Heather, you got it. Isn't it romantic? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, Stephen. You also got it. Even though I know it's probably just a typo, you did. You did. Want it to be one more spot. Who's gonna put it in there? There we go. Sandy. Good job, Sandy. Sandy got the third spot. Sandy, message me on Facebook, the TMC Facebook page with your email account for your TMC.io account so that I can assign these points to you. Um, so we have our three winners it's, for this particular one. We have Heather, we have amazing. Sandy, and we have wait, go down, go down. Somebody sorry, said something. We have Jared. It's romantic. Jared, Stephen, and Heather. Jared, Stephen, and Heather. You guys scored this one. Good job. All look right. Like, look up. Look up. He's he said that too. It's yeah, Jared. I already said Jared. Jared said it. Jared said it first. Jared was first to it. Okay, so let's see here. Next one. All right. Next one. Let's go. Is are we all done with the with the with the collectibles? We got any more collectibles to show? We have one, two, three. Oh, four, right, bring five, one over. Six. I'll bring two. How about just one, please? Thank I'll you. Two. I'm gonna bring two anyway. Okay, leave one. Leave one somewhere, and then there you go. No, no, I can't. Yes, yes. There he is. Stand here. The incinerator stormtrooper from the Mandalorian. I'm gonna put a second one, there, Daddy. The detail uh, on this guy is really phenomenal. Um, not only does he have this unique mask and helmet, 
Uh, yes, Sandy. That, was I not correct in saying you? Yes. Uh, yes. I said you, Sandy. Yes. The Mandalorian incinerator stormtrooper has flames coming out of his flamethrower. Very cool um, detail on these flames. You uh, said me too. Well, hang on. Yes, Steven, correct. Correct. Steven. Check out the details. Look at that. Look at that flame, how it just flows out to the side, Hudson. I'm looking at some. Hey, honey. Mm -hmm. I need you to sit right here and just I'm, sit right here. Well, You're too, getting a little too wiggly, okay? Just sit for me. Thank okay. you. All I'm right. Tired. So, well, you can take a break if you want. We'll take a break. We're almost wrapping up. We're wrapping up soon anyway. Getting close to dinner time here in Arizona. So, hope everyone's uh, doing well and safe. And, you know, um, <laughs> we're on day, um, let's see here. Let me see if I can remember. I gotta change this. Day forty. What did what did, what did, what did we 40. decide? site? was it forty? Yeah, it was forty. It's forty. Okay. Forty days in. I just put up the forty day of quarantine um, counter on our screen there. We figured it out today. It took a while to think about like when was the last day that we didn't think like we're staying home, like we're not gonna we're not gonna you know go out unless we have to, and it was really it was kind of difficult to kind of go back and figure out. Like, when did we really start self-isolating and, you know, basically just only going out for things that were absolutely necessary? Um, and we figured it out. And so we are um, we are 40 days into this right now. Uh, and feel free to share how many days you've, you, you've been uh, quarantined, so to speak. I know quarantine is really not the right way of saying it. Quarantine insinuates that you're sick, but... Essentially, we're all kind of going through this, you know, quarantine together in a way. And um, I, I try not to read a lot about it. I try not to, you know, I try to stay measured when it comes to the information that's out there. Um, okay, Steven. That sounds good. Shoot me a message. Well, we have a couple more posters left, so keep your tally. And uh, we'll get those points. Or like I said, I'll get those points. Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're saying there, Sandy. Seventy nine hundred and eleven two. Eleventy eleventy? Eleventy? I'm not sure what you're saying there, Sandy, if you want to clarify. Sorry. Um, oh yeah, yes. Yes. Send me send send message the Facebook message our Facebook page. Um, your email address for TMC.io. And then how many correct you believe that you received you you had? I'll go through the chat after, and like I said, I'm not uh, you know I'm not worried that you guys are going to try to take advantage. So are you back, Jason? I'm glad that glad you glad you're back. So yeah, just shoot me a message through there. Make sure though you include your email address for TMC, okay? Day um, forty. Yeah, wow. day forty, Jared. I know it's um we were in Flagstaff. It was Hudson's March break. We went up to Flagstaff. For it's a little winter, you know, get a couple of days of winter up there. Um, you know, being in Arizona, and I grew up in Canada, so I, I miss the cold sometimes. So surprisingly, um, so we went up there. We were hoping maybe it was a chance it was going to snow. We went up there, and some Hudson and I were we had this cold, and you know, it just it would not go away. It was just a, it was just a real nagging cold. We didn't have a cough at all. Just a lot of congestion. Thought maybe it was allergies or whatever. So we ended up cutting our trip short, and that was the week. That uh, thing started really, the S started to hit in the fan, so to speak, here. Um, and we just, um, yeah, and we realized that the Saturday after that March break, we ended up going out, running some errands. We went to Pop Belly for lunch. And then the next day, the Sunday, um, we just realized that, hey, we need to hunker down and try to order things online as much as possible and try to prevent because, um, you know, we have a lot of people in our lives that are at higher risk and we wanted to stay home for them. And then also for all the, you know, frontline workers, we didn't want to, you know, unnecessarily create an issue um, for them. So, so far, um, you know, so far it's been, like I said, it's been 40 days. So 40 days since we've actually freely gone out without thinking about, you know, you know, 
there's a problem. We, we need to we need to uh, not touch things, touch our face. Uh, it was 40 days ago that we've kind of been to that mentality. So, uh, but uh, yeah, but you know, uh, we get out and we do walks every day. We do bike rides, um, and we try to stay active as much as possible. So I don't want to get too depressed, <laughs> depressing on here because I know we're all going through the same thing. So we're here to have some fun and uh, guess some titleless movie posters. I didn't work in Photoshop for like an hour for all these for nothing. You know what I mean? So let's get to them. All right. Our next poster. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Day 40. Wow. I know. I know. <laughs> I keep thinking about it myself. It's hard to believe. Yes. Yeah, well, you could show you. I'm sure people like to see your Lego toys. Oh, 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 okay, sorry, sorry. Oh. oh, 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 oh gotcha. Okay, oh. that'd be cool. Yeah, let's get to the next post show real quick, okay? Okay, you can do the next post, and I'll bring in the guys. We have how many? Okay. Here's our next poster. There. All right, let's see. We're going to do... Uh, take off. Yeah. Incinerator take off the incinerator. Put the incinerator on ice. <laughs> ah, ice. Oof. And we're going to put in Q90. Q90. If you're wondering what these are on these turntable right here, and you're just joining us somehow, um, this these are items that are available right now in the TMC marketplace on TMC.io. And what you're doing right now is you're playing four points to be able to be redeemed for purchases on the new marketplace on TMC.io. We have a ton of stuff, as you can see, to get on the new marketplace. Um, and and it's going to take a while for me to get them there. I'm working on it every day. And I'm also going to be working on the point system a little bit more. Right now, the point system is in place. I will be able to issue your points. You will see your points in the leaderboard. People that have won today, I guarantee you're going to be on that problem, that top of that leaderboard there on the right right hand side of TMC.io. So, again, this is a, a to be future feature that's going to be very near and close. This is Q90. We're going to hold off for now, sec, buddy. And now we'll, we'll look at this poster. Yes. Um, when you say it's a classic, it is a classic in some ways. One second. It's from uh, 1997. And Kathleen, again, she nailed it. Good job, Kathleen. Uh, 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 we have two more. We and have. And we have Jared. And we have Sandy. That is some good work, everyone. Good job. Good job. All right, we got our winners for the posters. That's Kathleen, Jared, and Sandy. All right, we're gonna have one more poster today. Uh, how many more? How many more? Um, Funko. Um, more things do we have? Yeah. We have one, two, three, four, and I wanted to shoot something. Four. Okay, let's go two at a time then. Oh. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. We have two more posters to show. Two more posters today. I just wanted to show. Oh no no this. no! Okay. We don't want to show. That's not part of. That's not on the market. There's the stuff that's on the marketplace, honey. Do we show all the guys from Mandalorian? No. Okay, can you bring one up, please? Uh, I want you to bring one of those up, please. Yes. After you show, after you bring those up, can you bring that up, please? It's tough to get good help sometimes. One, and two, and we could put. Oh, one I'm on sorry. Our... Did I miss somebody? I'm sorry. Hang on. Sometimes this chat has a little bit. Oh yes, Theophanus. Theophanus. I am sorry. Apologize. You too. So anyway, we'll do four winners for that then. Theophanus, um, Kathleen, Jared, and Sandy. Sorry, Theo. Sorry, Theophanus. Is that how, am I pronouncing it right? Theophanus. It's a very interesting name. Theo. Sam? Sorry about that. I totally missed it. You guys came in fast and furious on the chat there, and it just it got to the top on me real quick there. Plus, I'm, I'm yipping away about other stuff, right? So yeah, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Theo was first. Theo, Theo Fantas was, was first. And um, very good. Very good uh, nailing that one because that was from 1997. I was uh, I was going back for that one. So we're going way back. All right. Way so back. what we have here, let's see. Um, these two guys in the marketplace, we have the Covert Mandalorian. 
and we have who's this? The client and the client. So these two characters, um, the client is a is is a known character. The client is the one that hired uh, the Mandalorian to retrieve the child. We know about the Which client. Is the we know who the client is. Yoda. What we don't know is who is the covert Mandalorian. The covert Mandalorian. Hudson, I hear you, okay, but when I'm speaking, I'm whispering in my ear while I'm talking. That's distracting sometimes, okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the covert Mandalorian is one of two things. Is one of the characters, one of the Mandalorians that unfortunately uh, did not make it from the initial attack in the caves. Or the covert Mandalorian, since it has female features, may be, the theory may be, that it's an undetermined character that has yet to be revealed. Now, again, I could be completely wrong. These are just theories that I've just been floating around there that I've read. Um, but that's what I've heard, and it's kind of intriguing that the Covert Mandalorian is really not a specifically identifiable character in the series yet, but we will see. All right, so we have these two. We have these two right here. Uh, oh, Charles has a good. Charles got Charles. That's a very good suggestion. Nice call. There you go. Look at that. Charles, you're hired. <laughs> Charles had a great suggestion there to put the put these guys uh, back to back. And you were right, sir. That looks that looks great. Much easier to see too, probably, right? See that yeah. idea? Why didn't you think of that? What? Why didn't you think of that idea? Why idea? Putting them back to back like that. Well It's your job, man. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so hard to find good help these days. Um, Daddy. Yes. I think I know who the covert Mandalorian is. It's from the Clone Wars episodes that I've been watching. Cha cha. <laughs> I'm well. I can't remember her name, but I think it was some like leader of the good side that's fighting against the Mandalorians that are for Dolph Maul when they when they invaded. The, their planet. And this is based off your Clone Wars animated yes. series knowledge? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that's okay. who it she is. Did. But and then it's louder it's later and then she gets new armor. Well it's a good theory. It's a yeah, good I theory, know. dude. Good that's theory. what I say. Okay. I like your theory. All right, Wait. we're gonna go to our next poster here. Let's see. Well these guys are good. I think this next one's probably gonna be pretty easy, but we'll see here. Everyone ready? Yep. Now Oh, it's Army. Oh, I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> know that one, dude. Oh, come you know why on. you don't know that one? Because that this movie came out a year after you were born. That's why you don't know this one. Oh. <laughs> I saw a preview of this. I well, if those are Army guys, then I know what movie you guys. I know what movie that is. Okay, Close. No, it's 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 from yeah, it's from that era, but that's not the name of the movie. See, I knew this was gonna be an easy one. I knew this was gonna be an easy one. What is it? Hang on, hang on. Let's just let it. Let's go. Let's let let's let, let, let someone come in here. Here we go. Oh, well, I know this. I know this person over here. I know this person right here. All right, Jared, you're first. Oh, uh, but you know what's no fair. We have we have a ringer. We have a ringer. This this Jenny this Jenny Todd's a ringer. Watch out. Watch out for her. She's a ringer. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. All right, so we got Jared, Jenny, and Anthony. You guys were the first. Uh, Theo, Theo Fanis, um, you didn't score here, but hats off for calling it Furt. Furt. It's Furt? <laughs> it's Furt? I know, it's a typo. I'm just teasing. <laughs> so, okay, we have, let's go back. We got Jared. All right, we got Jenny, and we have Anthony. You guys won TMC points. Yay! Two hundred fifty <laughs> points for each answer. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. All right, Daddy, I'm, are they like little team? Are they coins with like that TMC symbol on them? Uh, yeah. Oh, they are. <laughs> oh my gosh! I actually was correct. I didn't even know a thing about what they look like. Okay. That's so creepy. So what do we have? How many, actually, we do have a couple other posters. What time is it, though? Is it getting close to dinner time? What did the producer say? The producer say it's almost dinner time? No. Okay. 
And All Daddy, right. since it's getting close to dinner time, I wanted to show my little special surprise. Okay, yeah, we'll take a little. Uh, Hudson's been wanting to show his little special surprise. So, um, I had a couple Lego sets from Star Wars, and I wanted you to guess some of them. Go, Wait, they're going to be on the turntable down here. <laughs> it was just a takeover. It's first a full takeover. This is the first one. Oh, oh, okay, okay, careful, careful. I know, I know, I know. Careful. That's oh. the first one. Whoever guesses this gets 24 points. <laughs> 24 points. For TNC. All right, here we go. Let me sorry, try. sorry. Let me try to get it in the... In oh, 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 oh. Uh, the power... <laughs> what does that say? What does it say? What's that? What does that guy say? Yes, yes, she is the producer. <laughs> she, she she'll pop in with with little cue cards sometimes with messages. And I also wanted to do something so they know it's not like what they think it is. Okay, well, hang on, hang on. Let's let people take a look at it and absorb it. Maybe they can figure out where this is from. So, it, well, Hudson and I. I uh, said it was from Star Wars, so they. No, I know, I know, I know, but I mean like what you know what is it like what is it exactly it's a specific name so we're looking for a specific name for this particular star wars vehicle i think he <laughs> yeah he's he... the future ceo sandy this is a, he's the future ceo right here <laughs> i'm sorry but like it doesn't show the top of the cannon right there oh they can see it see right here they can see the top of the cannon so this is yeah. a three-legged uh vehicle well, Daddy, can I put the? It, how long did Kathleen wants to know how long it took us to build? How long? Um, it, it took us, us like three days. <laughs> chicken. Uh, Skylar says Skylar thinks it's a chicken walker. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> not even close, Skylar. It's not a chicken walker. What well, is Daddy, it? Daddy, I wanted to put down the third foot. Well, because... why don't you show? Why don't you show him some features? Why don't you show him some features like the door opening? Here. Yeah. See the door opens there. The hatch. Oh look at this! Charles just threw up a Charles just threw up a Lego ID number. I'm gonna have to confirm. I'm gonna have to confirm that seven five two three four. All right, I'm gonna go up here because I don't have the box with me anymore. So let me let me go up here to confirm. Not that I'm calling you a liar or anything, Charles, but man, that's good if that was the actual number you just threw up there. Seven five two three four. Hang on, Hattie. We're confirming Charles's. Look at this! Look at this guy! Oh my God! Look at this, Charles. Charles just threw up the Lego number. Wow. Well, do you know what the name is? I'm looking for name. I think he knows the name. If he play zone. If he picked up the um. Play zone. That's. I think he knows the name. If he got the. If he got the. What's the, the name? name? What's the name? He knows the name. What is he the didn't name? pull up, he didn't pull up the number without knowing the name I guarantee you that so I that's very wanted, good it I is Charles is right this is a Lego Star Wars ATAP Walker ATAP Walker dun, dun, dun. from what what's it from buddy Star Wars the Clone Wars from the Kashyyyk battle which the clones turn into stormtroopers that's dun, right dun, 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 for order 66 yep that's right and I wanted to show him this little cool feature oh yep Cannon goes down. There you go, Charles. Cannon Charles said down. it. He said it for you, Hudson. Just in case, let just in case see. you oh, doubted let him. Me see. Let me see. He said it's an ATAP Walker. Yes, you are correct. You get fifty-two points. How many did I say to get? Well, oh, just let him have fifty-two points. We're gonna give him some bonus, some extra points. Give, yes. Give him <laughs> First you said twenty four points somehow, and then you said fifty two. So well, 20, we'll make it a smooth fifty. How's that? Oh, uh, fifty fine, <laughs> fifty fine. Okay, you know, watch let's out how many points he said. Next thing I was going to say five thousand points. All right, that's the ATAP Walker Hudson wanted to show. Yes, it took uh, him what three? Was it a three day build? We three didn't really build, do it yeah. all sitting down. You know, a little bit at a time. And uh, he's pretty good. He did most of it himself. I just kind of was there to. Have a little bit of fun because I like playing with it too. And sorry, you can't really see it. Yeah, that's fine. We're not. Uh, this is another one, but we're not going to play the guessing game on this guy. Why? Well, because we got we got a couple more posters to go through. We got one more things to show, and then we're going to wrap it up because we've been on for a while. But tell them what tell them what this is first. It's, before it's Anakin Skywalker Starfighter. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. 
I wanted to do something. Anakin Skywalker Skyfire. That was an early, early build that Hudson did uh, months ago. So, but he's having fun. So, now Next is it A T A P or A T? <laughs> Yeah, it's tough to keep track with all these. It's, you know, it's at, at when it's an at, at, but then they say ATAP with these ones, I believe. Okay, we're not going to show that right now. We're going to get another one of the Mandalorians. Okay, all right, we're going to bring up another Mandalorian that's available in the TMC Marketplace, these and we're going with the next ones. poster. Everyone ready for the next poster? And it is here. All right, back to back. Remember, back to back, like. Uh, like Charles said. Back to back. Charles had it right. Okay, there we go. Back to back. Uh, there we go. Poster is. There we go. What do we got here? Again, I think this one might be easy. Not really too difficult. Not something that's pulled from the archives. This is one that's somewhat modern, relatively modern. Where? Oh, yes, it does. It's not, though. No. It, Hudson thought it was, he says it looks like the black hole, which, by because the way. Because that looks like the black hole center. Which, by the way. Oh, I, Chris, he's back. Which, by the way, I made Hudson watch the black hole. Um, somehow it doesn't, it didn't age very well. For me, I remember it being much more magical. It was a bit of a, he didn't, I don't think he loved it. I don't think he loved it. Oh, look at, here we go. Here we go. They're all Chris coming in. Chris is back. Oh, Chris we got? is back. Chris is back. Okay, so who we got? Chris. Who was first? Him. Looks Chris. like Chris. Chris was first with Ad Astra. Has anybody seen this movie? By I the guess way? Ad Astra. I would like to know how it is because I'm interested in seeing it because I do like sci-fi. Uh, sci Anthony, I know what you meant, and I'm going to give it to you, even though it's spelt somewhat incorrectly. I'm going to give you that one. And then Jenny, I want to give you that one too. Congrats. This is your flying over. So we got Chris, Anthony, and Jenny all on TMC points. Message me on Facebook here on the Facebook page. Put your TMC.io email address, and I'm going to juice up your account with 250 TMC points for answering this correctly. We have, let's see, I believe we have, oh, I want to, we got two more. We got two more posters to get to. I'm going to, I'm going to blaze through these a little bit here. Um, we have Cool or Cool and Cara Dune. Cool. Um, I, I can't believe I can't pronounce his name properly. But anyway, Cara Dune, we cool. all know her. She used to be in real life a mixed martial artist. Um, she's an awesome, strong character in The Mandalorian. She helps Mando on a mission or two. If you haven't seen the season, I won't get into too many details. But Cara Dune, uh, I think, is one of the um, really cool characters on The Mandalorian. And, of course, this character here, Cool. Uh, cool. 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 It, I don't think it's cool. I can't remember his name. It's cool. Anyway, cool. Um, cool, dude. he was one of those characters that you kind of immediately kind of had a warm feeling about, I think. He, he just had that warm, fuzzy feeling about him, and he had a really unique way of speaking, um, which was very memorable. Um, you definitely have, you haven't watched the first season. I won't give away any spoilers, um, but he is uh, an in he definitely had an impact in the first season, this character. Um, so, again, these are Mandalorian characters, Star Wars, Mandalorian, Funko Pop characters, 329, and Cara Dune. Um, they're all right now on the TMC Marketplace. We have a ton more to add, as you can see behind me. These boxes are full of stuff to add on the Marketplace. I'm getting through it as best I can, um, and we're going to keep adding more stuff every week on the Marketplace and featuring them during our game sessions right here. So um, we're going to get off here and... Uh, Go to our next poster, keeping with the um, theme that we have here. Here Sorry. we go. Everyone ready? Let me make sure I'm not missing any messages. Um, yes, I have spoken. Queel. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Queel. Theo Fanis. Thank you, everybody. I, <laughs> I wouldn't struggle with that. Cool. I said it was Cool. Yes, he's voiced by Nick Nolte. Yeah, interesting fact, right? He Nick Nolte did the voice for him. Um, that old raspy three-pack-a-day voice. Yeah, he did a really good job of voicing him. And uh yeah, he's one of those, he's one of those endearing characters for sure. Um all right. <laughs> up leg, up leg for the I got all, I got them all caught up. Okay, sorry. 
I was babbling away there, and I didn't see all that. Thank you for helping me pronounce that. Sometimes uh, the producer can help me on those too, but she's uh, she's up uh, producing something for dinner. So anyway, um, <laughs> hey, all right, next poster, two left. Here we go. I, this is gonna be. This is, now I'm thinking maybe I made these too easy, but that's okay. I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna. I got, I got some. I got some hard ones in the works, um, but we'll go. Yeah, we're gonna we'll go. go we're gonna go with two more. We're gonna end with one that's um, probably been on everyone's list recently. So, but here we go. Anyone have any clues as to what we are looking at here? This Titleist movie poster. What, what could the name it? be? What let is me it? See. Let what me is see. it? What the? I don't even. I don't even. Oh my gosh! I think I might know that one. Well, I have no. Here idea we go. That Answers is. are coming in. And the first one, Jason, congratulations. Is Arrival, it? it is. Jason and, oh, Anthony, sorry. Sorry, Anthony. It was not Annihilation. It was sorry. Arrival. Jenny got it on the second. Jenny got second. And Charles, you secured the third spot for points on this one. And um, honorable mention goes to Theophanis. Kathleen, Jared, and TMC's family favorite, Chris. Arrival. Chris. Good job. Everyone got everyone kind of came in on that one at the same time, too. It was a close one. Mm. Um, but uh Jason, Jenny, and Charles, you won the points. So please um again just message me on the Facebook page here. Um with your email address for your tmc.io account and i'm going to juice up your account with some more points we're going to go point, to point, our, point, our last up. poster do we are, we are we all done are we all done with our mandalorian yes. stuff we are done yes. there's yes. no more yes actually there is one more okay what is it <laughs> what do we got no no i want to show so that there's no more mandalorian no, guys? There's not. i just wanted to show this no we don't want to show that Why? okay so i'm just going to end with this i'm going to put this guy back in here because this is one of my favorite guys I, who, I, I want, uh, I want, that could be ours and we can have Dude, you it. want everything that's in here. We know that. Well, it's well, every time, every time something comes. I want that. I want that. I want that. That's Dad. how you sound all Daddy, day. I want that. <laughs> Daddy, I want it. Daddy. Oh, but I thought you, I think you, you've already, you got to win Theo. You got to win Theo Fantasy. You, you got one. You, you were, uh, what was it? Let's see. What did you do? I missed you too on that one too, whatever it was. So anyway, we're on our last poster. I'm getting the. Wrap up sign from the producer. Oh, here we go. Last poster. Here we go. Very timely. Should be an easy one. Should be an easy. Should be on one. everyone's list right now. Um, is your post? Of Should be on everyone's list right now. Let's see. We got our last poster crazy. of the day. It's a movie that is um, not um, from, yeah. you know, not recent. Definitely not this? recent, but timely. And I'm gonna be. Not it. Uh -huh. It looks like it because <laughs> it be, everybody's in there. It would be way too easy. Here we go. Here come some answers coming in. Oh, Kabi, Kabi. Ah, you're scraping me too hard. You're hurting me. <laughs> All right. Looks like Jer looks like Jared nailed it. Nailed it. it is, nailed the it. movie is called Contagion, and um, we see a little bit of a typo there. We're not gonna. We're not. We're we're not second place. We're not. Uh, get, we're not gonna penalize on on typos. That's for sure. Uh, Chris, you got second on there, and then looks like Kathleen, you came in on third on this one. You scored some points as well. Um, Jason, you just missed the points on that, but you are correct. And Jenny as well, you are correct on it as well. And correct, and, and then Heather also nailed it. But yeah, no, I understand there'll be typos. You guys are trying to type in as fast as possible. No problem there. We're not going to, uh, you know, we're not going to penalize likes, typos for low sure. Likes. So again, uh, if I, I need to repeat it. that, let's see what do we have Here's there. We had, we had Jared, we had Chris and Kathleen. You guys scored points on there again. Message me on the TMC Facebook page, and um, just say the movie poster name that you won for, your email address, 
and I will rack up the points. I know several of you have won um, a couple of times. So if you want to go back and just tally those, just, you know, put those moving names in where you were first, second, or third, and uh, I will issue you the points, and you'll have those in your TMC account shortly. And again, shortly. in the very, very near future, I'm building in the functionality to be able to use those yeah. points and to uh, be able to purchase these cool collectibles that we have and are adding every week to the well, team's you haven't new... added this week. I haven't yet any yet. That's what, that's right, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. The plan is every Friday to add more stuff to the to marketplace. That's kind of the goal we set for ourselves here. So we did Mandalorian on Monday. I actually added them on Friday, and then we did a special on Monday Lorian, uh, and um, where we had um, some fun on that. And then we're going to add some more tomorrow. So um, again, we're going to try to hop on tomorrow. Hopefully, everyone liked this game. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, we have a couple other cool games to play as well coming up in the future. But thank you so much for everyone for joining us today. I wanted to tell them something. Hudson has a couple of last words here. Hudson? Um, this, this is the last word. Um, <laughs> well, I was planning the for the um, for a picture for the Atari thing. I wanted to like have that Mandalorian symbol on Daddy's shirt. I wanted to put that up to the camera and take a picture of that for our screen. So, you know, if you see Monday Lorian, then that's us playing video games, not doing this TMC stuff. What does that say? Uh, Chris said what? What do, you what do you guys think about this one? You guys like this game better than the other ones? I know the drawful ones are, you know, pretty canned type of games, but I thought we'd make some more specific movie-related games that we could kind of, you know, engage together in and speak to. Let me, uh, I'm going to try... I think I know what you're asking there. Uh, Theophanis was asking a question. Um, what character was Bill Bergen? He was. Oh, yeah, I don't think. You know what? I don't think they did make a. I don't think they did make a Funko for him yet. Yeah, what was his name in the series? His name. He was the Mandalorian. No, he is a uh, Mayfield. He's a mercenary. Yeah, I don't think they made. You know, well, that's a very good one. That's a very good, uh, very good question there, um, Theo Fantas. Um Bill fun. Burr was Mayfield. Fun. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you guys had fun. Awesome. Thanks, Charles. Thank you, Heather. Well, oh, thanks, Kathleen. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, everyone. All right, well, that's good to hear. I'm glad to hear. We will definitely come back with more as much as we can, but tomorrow um, we'll, we'll be we'll adding some add more stuff. Something. We'll add some more surprises to the marketplace, and we'll come back with another game. That's fantastic. Yep. All right, everyone, have fun. Try bye. to have fun. Bye. Be safe. We love bye, you bye, all. Bye, bye, Thank bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye for now. I want to press it. I want to press it. Bye.